Is everyone cool with Burden of Beans as the title for this? Yeah, sure. Yeah? Settled. Right, scene 12, shot one, take two. Action. So, uh, it's, what am I going to say? Hang on. <laughs> so it's a Monday, uh, it's our first day of shooting, and the actors are getting here in 15 minutes, and then we're going to start filming, we're starting with the end of the film, which is, you know, obviously not the way people will watch it, hopefully. Because it's not fair. Can't just what get away with this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think I missed it on the line. Right up there, on the second landing of the staircase. Uh, we're filming that today, and a few more scenes here at Callum Island Museum, which is an old industrial museum, like, built into an old factory. So, kind of a perfect location for us, because we wanted this sense of industrial decline and decay. Thank you so much to Kellam Island Museum for letting us film here because it's such a beautiful old building and to get something like this that really works for what we're doing is just perfect. So yeah, we're really happy to have got that. And thank you Callum, the editor. Here, here, pass me, come on, pass me that. Come on, come on. Ah, yes, good one, good one, Jeff. Oh, hello there. We're here on the film set for Fair Trade, the set we've built and constructed ourselves. Now, this isn't actually a good Hitchcock voice at all. So, uh, here we are. We've got two days to shoot the... What is some of... What are some of the most important scenes in the film where we see some real interaction between Francis and Francesca to give that weight to the climax and also where we really set the scene for the world the story is set in. <laughs> We've, um, we've built the set here in, in someone's living room, which is great because we've got the location for free, most importantly, and also it helps, it helps go into the DIY aesthetic that really helps bring the story world to life. You'd be wise to show a little more respect. <laughs> <laughs> for me, um, pre-production is quite difficult as I am... Um, we, due to the number of locations and actors we wanted, it was quite difficult to do, get the scheduling right for it and just to find all the right places to go for it, really. <laughs> Some of the locations we acquired were quite, in the end, were quite easy to get. Obviously, the house or the cafe, that was free, that was, it's an empty house, so we've got blank like, canvas for, for us, really. We can just work how we want to with it. Here's a diagram from Dante's The Inferno of the different circles of Lower Hell. Right at the bottom of Lower Hell is whoever has got our camera at the moment. We, we're all ready to film here with the actors arriving in about 15 minutes except the camera that we're meant to be using hasn't come back to university yet so we can't get hold of the camera we need. So we're going to have to end up shooting on something else, which is going to be such a big nightmare for our editor Callum that he started playing the keyboard consistently in order to cope. He's just not stopped for hours and hours. No. <laughs> yeah, so we've got 10 more minutes until we're saying Give up, the camera's not going to come back. Get out a, a Canon XF305. Hey Callum, hey. Callum, you alright? Yeah, pretty good. What are you editing there? Our film. So um, we are needy in post production week at the minute. 
we had a few setbacks, like you know, weeks off, in meaning you know that we've we've not been able to film some weeks, so we are a little bit behind on schedule. But I've kind of managed to stay on track, so it's not that bad. Here we have the teaser that we've been working on, and it's pretty much done. I did the sound on it yesterday. It's kind of fun to make it together. See how everything, once you add all the layers in and you have everything in there, how it comes together and makes a cool sounding teaser. So production's done. But that doesn't mean the hard work stops there. Right now, at this very moment, Calma and Michalina are hard at work on the fine cut of the film, but we're on track. You can expect the film out in early May, so you'll want to keep an eye on our Facebook and Instagram pages for updates to see where and when you can see the film. You don't want to miss out.